Hello everybody, my name is Miss Jenny, in case you did not know, now you know. Um, I am here at the Merrimack Public Library and we are about to get a bunch of snow. So I have a couple of different ideas for you to try. Um, right now, <laughs> there's no snow outside, but we are anticipating it. So I have some ice cubes to kind of mimic that snow to the best of my ability. So I will scroll on down or move the camera down and you'll be able to maybe take this craft activity what have you uh, outside and maybe create something tomorrow um, because there's gonna be a lot of snow on the ground then all right so let's just get into it all right so you can see I have some ice I have some paint I have a cup I have a paintbrush and then I also have a spray bottle and some water so because I have ice, I thought I would try if I put a little bit of pink in here, if I just painted the ice cube and maybe I can make a picture or maybe I can paint all of them different colors. Now, if you're wearing gloves, which hopefully you are if you're outside, your gloves are gonna get wet. So make sure that they're either waterproof and you're using um, paint colors that will wash or you're gonna to wanna to do our next method because this is gonna get messy. But if you paint them, then you can make little blocks that are all different colors. Now my other idea, which is perfect for when it's snowy, is you're gonna take some paint and squirt some paint whoop, in a spray bottle. Then you're gonna take some water. As you can see, my fingers are pink, so I'm gonna to have to do a lot of cleaning. And then you're gonna pour that water in there. Um, if you wanted to be inside, maybe you could get an ice cube tray like I have right here and put some food dye in the water so that you could have colored ice that way. But we're gonna be painting some snowy ice. So we are gonna shake, 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 shake. Make sure that color is all mixed in. And then you can if it's gonna work, we'll see. There we go. Then you can spray the snow and this is gonna get a lighter color, but you'll be able to color more of the snow this way. So this would be a lot of fun to do outside because this way your hands aren't getting cold and wet and you can still do this with your hat, gloves, mittens. Um, yeah, so there you go. And if you make a really big picture with the snow you can make a smiley face or different things like that but again it's just a different way to color some snow and I think it's a lot of fun because I don't know snow is pretty and why not make it even prettier with more colors but you see the one that I painted is a darker pink and the one that I sprayed is a lighter pink but these ones I didn't get messy. This one, I got a little messy. So you can spray it as much as you'd like. Um, if you have a lot of different colors, if you have a lot of spray bottles, you can make really cool faces or a heart or a pony or a monster. There are so many things you can make right in the snow. So there you have it. It is two different ways to color some ice and you can see this one's just a very faint tinge of pink and this one's a very bright pink all right so with that that is our messy monday for the day i'm going to go clean up and dry off and get all nice warm and toasty before i brave the cold and drive home i hope everybody is staying safe as always but stay healthy stay safe and i hope to see you soon bye